Yeah, they're Threadbare. Were... It looks like a gigantic snake. folks it's been a few days since we took in the skid loader to get it serviced and get the weather strip fixed on it dad also took in our 7 8 20 tractor to get new tires new front tires on it because they were threadbare pretty, yeah they're threadbare they're, so we got new tires on it and dad's gonna go pick the tractor up from the tire store take it to john deere and get it serviced there while i pick up the skid loader at John Deere and so he'll meet me there with the tractor. Might drive through Walmart on the way, pick up a Snickers just cause just cause I'm close. I wonder if I could call ahead. You think that I can pick it up there? I should try that. <laughs> Are you excited? We got the weather strip fixed so that you can stay nice and warm this winter. Winter's coming. We got a lot of rock to uh, spread around your building, and I don't want to get I don't want to get dusty. A lot better job than Torx Torx weather strip. Hey, that lasted like three months. That was that was three hours of work lasted three months. That probably was a generic weather strip. This one's a John Deere probably weather no, strip. No, it was the original weather strip that was all uh, beat to hell. I just put that adhesive on it. Oh, gotcha. That was probably that's probably eight hundred dollars worth of weather strip more than likely. Probably. All right. All right. See ya. Good morning, folks. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Not too cold, not too hot, just about right. Today is going to be a busy day around the farm. We got a lot of stuff going on. We got pig stuff we got to do. David's here drag line and our manure to put on our fields for our fertilizer and we also have our chemical dealer wit off here spreading lime onto our fields we're gonna give you all the info on spreading manure and spreading lime we made a really in-depth video uh, about a year ago on how we how we spread our manure on our fields and that video went all in-depth on hog manure if you want to click up here you can find that we probably won't go as far in depth as we did in that video today on hog manure, but we will show a good amount, so. So we're going to put on a total of about 500 tons of lime today. And I didn't say this earlier, but we use, it, it goes anywhere from no lime. So this area straight west of us, it doesn't need any lime. So we use, they call it variable rate technology. So in other words, Whitoff's, Whitoff Farm Supplies, who is doing this for us, and that's who we get our fertilizer from and all that. They, when they soil sample, they take those soil maps and then they're able to put that into their spreader and so there's areas that need no lime and then there's areas like up north side of the road where was our corn on corn ground and that needs like three ton to the acre so anywhere from none to half a ton to two ton to three ton that's what they're going to spread but all together they're going to spread about 500 ton today yeah. so on average it's about a ton and a half to two tons to the acre uh, it just depends on where it falls from the soil map and so we try to not 
over ply or under ply, we try to get it just what we need, and that's what we're doing today. Dad and I are up to site two. We took over stocks out last week, so now it's time to get these mats out of here because the pigs no longer need them. We're in the feeder pig stage, no longer the nursery stage, and all they'll do is just chew these up, ruin them, and we'll have to go buy more if we don't get them out. So we got these two by sixes down and I hung with some sturdy hooks. We put eight mats on one two by six total and that gets the job done. So as you can see, we finished up. We got all the mats on the wall there. Went pretty quick. We only went ahead and did the south room today. We're gonna do the north room tomorrow. So we're up here, we're pumping. We're in the we're in the south building. We're in the east room or south building. And actually, you couldn't ask for a better time to be empty in this building because we're just about out of pigs. As you can see, this room is basically empty. We've got just a few few pens of uh, light pigs down at the end and it's 60 degrees 65 degrees today so the curtains are open so we don't have to worry about trying to balance exhaust as much air as we can and yet keeping the building warm for the pigs so really it, it's working perfect that's one of the biggest I'd say safety concerns when it comes to pumping a building is if it happened to be that we were full of pigs but it was really cold weather. We're talking down in the 40s, high 30s, which sometimes in the fall it is. That can really create problems because on the one hand, you want to exhaust as much air out of your pit as you can because when you agitate that pit, the chemical reaction that gives us the nitrogen, it, it stirs up all of that material and you'll get sulfide gas can get sulfide gas out of it and you can get a lot of carbon monoxide and if that comes up which typically that's heavy so it stays low so it stays in the pit but if it comes up and you're not exhausting it or you're not letting that air out of the building you can get in a situation where it can be very dangerous and you want to avoid that obviously at all costs so try to find a balance where you're exhausting as much air as you can, but yet you're keeping the building warm enough that you're not freezing water lines or freezing pigs. But this is a perfect situation because for one, at this site, we're almost out of pigs, and two, it's a beautiful day, so we can move as much air as we want, and we don't have to worry about chilling the pigs, and we don't have very many pigs to worry about anyway. So that makes for a good deal. Uh, for those of you that wonder about barn, the barn talk sensors, uh, we're about what now, six months in, and humidistat temperature. We haven't had we haven't had any problems. Everything's reading good, and so far we're super happy. So they're holding up good. This barn's going to get washed here pretty quick, and so we'll give you an update after we wash it. Almost empty today, and we won't quite get that field done. 
but we'll finish that field tomorrow and then switch. And then once we're empty here, we'll go to Sawyer's barn and we'll pump it out. So it'll be a pretty quick deal and I think the weather's gonna hold, so it should be awesome. They moved up to my site to start pumping more manure because our double site is empty. It looks like a gigantic snake. The most important thing is safety when it comes to pumping manure out of a building from pigs and yourself and the person that's pumping it. Basically for my barn, we got about four fans running at a time in each room. We got them set to manual on and then we got both tunnel curtains all the way open. Well actually the south room has its uh, tunnel curtain at about 50% and in the north room the tunnel curtains all the way down and the barn kind of knows when to crank that up and crank it down and how far to crank it up how far to crank it down depending on how much air is moving through there but so far it's been good uh, it's working great it's just you got to make sure you got enough ventilation running through your barn that way the pigs don't croak over or you croak over or anything like that just make sure there's enough air pumping through there and everybody should be good to go. Yeah, another thing, don't run over the drag line. Don't ever run over the drag line. They'll probably go ahead and get this all done tonight, I would assume. If not, they'll get it done uh, early tomorrow morning, but this is the last field that we gotta cover here. Also forgot to mention, the lime was all spread yesterday. So yesterday they got it all done. Took them, took them a pretty good amount of time to get it all spread just because it's not like a drag line. They had to constantly come back and get more lime to spread, but they got it all done. Lime's done, bio cow's done, manure's gonna be done tomorrow. So everything is gonna be good to go before winter. And then when spring hits, we'll start chopping the stalks and then we'll get back into planting again. So it all just keeps going on and on and on. Never ending cycle.